Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God the praise. Let God be exalted forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please family like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs> I hear this, but I started laughing. I'm, I'm like, no, not in this ministry now. It can't happen. It cannot happen. It cannot happen. There is a set and a group of people waiting. They are waiting. They have been waiting for so long. And now they are feeling frustrated and they are crying. And that frustration is their portion. That tears is their portion because that was what they were planning for you to start feeling frustrated and start crying. I keep praying that dangerous prayer that owners of evil load will carry their load until they repent. Don't come here and tell me that I don't pray. Pray for I pray for them. I pray for my enemies as well. As I forgive them, if they refuse to repent, everything they are planning, they will use their head to carry it. Enough is enough. How can they just sit down, make a proposal, make a satanic plan, and say, let's wait? As I'm even speaking, I see them blowing powder. I don't know what this is. This is a white or something. They put in their hands and they blow. They put in their hands and they blow. Hallelujah. And they blow. They are waiting for the manifestation of what they are blowing. There is something called the wind of glory. When there is a wind of glory upon the life of a child of God, no matter what is blown in the spiritual realm, that wind of glory will return back whatever they have blown towards you, back to sender. That is why we pray a prayer of bliss. The bliss of God. Hallelujah. The bliss, the wind of glory. Hallelujah. They plan and they sat down, waiting patiently for you to <laughs> for you to mess up. Let me use that word. Is that the right word to use? Yes. For you to mess up, for you to fail. So that they will celebrate. That celebration, eh, God will disappoint them. The Bible says he disappointed the devices of the crafty. And their hands were not able to perform whatever they were trying to perform. Hallelujah. They are waiting. And this is a group. They are waiting. You are like standing alone on your own. The moment you left the group, you became on your own. Like standing on your own. This is the person I'm talking about. You have left all of them. You have left the group and you are standing on your own. You are not just standing. You are standing on the rock. And Jesus Christ is the rock. You understand? Jesus Christ is the rock. And there is nothing that can uproot you from the rock. Hallelujah. This is why you are not going to fall. This is why you are not going to fail. Because Jesus is on your boat. You are not permitted to sink. Hallelujah. Because Jesus is on your boat, you are not permitted to sink. They are waiting patiently for you to mess up and they are running out from that patient. Their patient is running out and they are going into frustration. Yes, they are going into frustration. Yet they are becoming very angry because they want to see you messed up by all means. They are just eager to see you messed up so that they will laugh you. Anyone waiting to mock God in your life, they are the one that will be ridiculed. Anyone that is planning to mock God in your life, God will bring shame upon them in the name of Jesus. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.